What's going on guys, it's Greg Miskos Dyes, back with another review. Today is our first goalie head review in a long time, and we're gonna be looking at the Nike Prime Elite. Uh, big shout out to Lax.com for sending this down. You can check it out in the link in the description. So this is Nike's first ever goalie head. A little insider info if you don't know that SDX makes Nike's gear. So um, SDX obviously been making goalie heads for a very long time, and you can see some inspiration there in uh, Nike's first goalie head, but it's cool to see one. Nike's heads have been, uh, some of them very popular, some less so, and now entering into the goalie fray with the Prime Elite. All right, so let's talk uh, head basics. The price is 99 bucks, which is the same price you're gonna buy an Eclipse 2 for, makes sense. And I've got weights listed here, which is really important for goalie heads. Goalie's obviously like a lighter head for, um, you know, faster hands. So we've got the Nemi 3 at 11.6 ounces, the Eclipse 2 at 11.5 ounces, so just slightly lighter. Uh, the String King Mark II G comes in at 11 and a quarter ounces, and then the Nike uh, Prime Elite, 11.4 ounces. So on our scale, it's a touch lighter than the Eclipse 2, um, and the String King is the lightest. So that gives you kind of a range board of what goalie head weights are looking like. They're pretty clustered in at that 11 and a half ounce range. So looking at the head, uh, the face shape, as far as we can tell, is very similar to the Eclipse 2. It's kind of got that teardrop shape with a flare through the lower third. Goalies seem to really like this. I forgot to give my disclaimer. I'm not a goalie, so I'm just going to give you as much information as I can. If you're a goalie, sound off in the comments if I'm wrong or right on any of these points. Um, but this face shape seems to work really well for a lot of goalies as far as saving area, and it also contributes really well to stringing the pocket. Uh, so you can contrast that with the... String King face shape, which I think they were going for maximum saving area, where they've got a larger um, shape up at the top, more flare up at the top, and I think that the um, clips too in this head are a little tighter up at the top, if you can get that kind of full picture. So then the struts are really simple. They've just got, uh, it looks kind of like the Nike Vapor, which makes sense. Just that little, very simple strut pattern there in the bottom. Um, and one thing I really like what they did is the throat. So it looks like they cut it up really high and put this divot in and then put this really nice texture in. So uh, thinking as a goalie, you would think that it would fit really nice for your hand and be nice and ergonomic. It's very thin and they moved up what I call the shoulders of the throat, they moved them up so you can get your hand up there on the plastic if you're one of those goalies that likes to put your hand on the plastic. Then looking at the scoop, which is a big focus for goalies, so you don't want the scoop to be too flexible where uh, when you get a shot here, it can go right through and go into the goal. So this one seems pretty stiff. Uh, it's pretty stiff on the corners here, so I don't think that'll be too much of an issue, but I thought that with the Eclipse 2 as well, and that seems to still be a little bit of a problem. And finally, looking at stringing, um, it has not the most string holes, and they end up kind of early, it looks like, but they're pretty big. Um, if you were to compare this to the stringing head, which has the most stringing holes of any goalie head, uh, this one absolutely has a ton of stringing holes. I mean, they're all the way down, just like their field heads, and they don't seem to be having an issue with durability. So um, I think as far as goalie heads go, it's on the slightly lower end of stringing holes. It was obviously good enough to get a solid pocket. Kevin, our guy here, does our goalie heads and did a good job. So not as many as the String King, but I think enough to get the job done. So that's it on the Nike Prime Elite goalie head. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you're a goalie, if this is something you're looking at for this spring season, make sure to like it if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, stay tuned for more reviews, and have a great day.